Hello everybody. I am working on this shower. I've been putting it off and putting it off and just it's a lot of work. So prep work. Got it all masked off. As you can see along the bottom on the other side but on this side on the inside here kind of hard to get a picture of such a small little bathroom and trying to get the whole thing in there so there's the bottom and then I'll move up pan up here and the dark spots are some putty it's actually not even putty it's JB weld I needed something hard to cover up some cracks there was a piece of uh, for lack of better term some vinyl tape that was taped right along there and what it was is I guess the uh, factory because I couldn't really couldn't tell why anybody else would do something like this it was two pieces uh, this piece down below here and this piece along the top and then right in here let me see if you can see it it looks like they try to put it back together and then they put a piece of vinyl tape uh, all the way around there to try to seal it well when I got this trailer it was actually falling off and I've already sanded it once and I'm gonna sand it again and then I'm gonna go over it with the epoxy paint that I purchased from Rust-Oleum and what I did is just covered up some holes those aren't patches those are the actual holes there for the uh, faucets and a little hole down there and a little hole and they're not really holes down at the bottom here they're cracks so i'm just going to seal it paint will seal it as well so but i've already stood in the shower it's nice and firm it's not going to go anywhere it'll hold me so if it'll hold me it'll hold anybody all right so this is a prep work i still got a little bit more prep work to do but i'm waiting for this jb well to dry which will be tomorrow and then uh, we'll do some more sanding and some scrubbing and then some roughening. So we've got a lot of prep work to do before you use this epoxy paint. But once you start using the epoxy paint, it goes on real good. Give it an hour, hour and a half, and you do a second coat, and then that's it, done. Let it dry for 48 hours, and then you can run water on it. So. We'll give it a go. We're going to check it out. All right. I'll show you guys how it's coming out before I paint it. Bye. All right. Doing some sanding now. Doing some sanding. So there you see the machine. I'm pretty much done with the sanding. I'm going to start hitting it with a little bit of scotch bright. But I want to just show you what I've got done. And it's what did I have knocked down all the shininess off of it there's still a little bit that's why i've got to hit it with the scotch bright now all this dark stuff is some putty hard putty to take in some of the uh cracks and things like that that i had up here a lot better than before with the paint it's going to look really nice uh, well, i should say nicer than uh, what it did before now, this has got a just a um couple of screw holes that I filled in right there that's where the faucets come in at and then that right there I took out the uh, chrome piece uh, for the uh, drain took that out already so that's all done sanded so I'm just gonna go over the whole thing knock down any brightness whatsoever then wipe it down completely get all the dust off of it either with a wet rag or a tack rag. I'll probably do both because I have both. Get all the uh, dust off of it. And then I will hit it with the, uh, with the uh, paint. Hopefully I'll have enough heat tonight or still this evening or later on this afternoon, I should say. All right, talk to you guys later. Thanks for uh, looking. Stand by for an update. Okay, I roughed it up. There are no shiny spots left. As you can see, it actually looks really clean. Super clean, but except for those black marks. And that's, again, the filler that I used for some cracks that are there. 
hopefully they'll cover up and they won't show so it's nice and clean I wiped it down wet damp rag I had soaked it up earlier but now it's just all cleaned up and it's dry so it is ready to accept the epoxy paint so I'm gonna get going I'll show you what I'm gonna use right now in just a little bit all right so right here that you see in front of you are the scotch bright pads that I use for a lot of these things and what it is it's on aluminum it really doesn't scratch uh, I should say scratch it up really bad it gives it it's like a light sand sanding and that's really good this is the uh, scotch bright pad that I used right now uh, in the tub there to get all the uh, shininess off get it get it nice and kind of uh, scratched up so where the uh, paint has something to hold on to and this is a brand new piece right here and actually this is one big piece uh, but I use a pair of scissors to cut it in half fit my hand a little bit better and uh, that way I think sometimes it, it, it lasts a little longer as well so now what I'm getting ready to use is the the paint here so this is a uh, part B part A a is the activator B is the actual paint you put uh, you pour the A into the B stir it till it's thoroughly mixed then we're gonna I get a tray out here with a small roller and I'll show you that also and uh, that's what I'll be using to uh, to paint also a brush but you have to have a pretty decent brush and I do have uh, some pretty nice ones here uh, so and it doesn't dry right away. What I like about it is it's workable, um, but you do want to put it on not heavy, but not light. It's, it's kind of a, a finesse because you don't want runs or anything like that. So, and with that, I'll, uh, I'll show you guys how, how things go, okay? Bye. All right, what I didn't show you is my respirator. Yes, you do need a respirator when you're working with this stuff it is a very strong a well ventilated area so i have the windows open fans going and there is a slight breeze today and i have the door wide open and so i'm hoping that uh, all of that will be good enough so that i you don't find me uh knocked out laying out inside or on this my driveway unconscious all right talk to you guys later Okay, it's gonna be fast because it smells in here very strong. That paint is extremely strong. So while you're putting it on, you wanna make sure you have a respirator. So you can barely see the line that was along there with the second coat. This is just the first coat. This is just the first coat. I know how to work with this. It's uh, learning experience you want to put it on lightly the first time and the second one a little heavier maybe but really just as light it's gonna cover it's covering well uh, yes you do see some spots I may have to do a third coat I don't know yet we'll see how uh, that filler is covered by this white paint but as you can see, it looks real well, nice and shiny, nice and clean. There it is, all the way up to the top. I've been putting this off and putting this off, it's unreal. But uh, yeah, it's it's got its first coat now, and uh, we'll be doing the second coat here in about an hour and a half. You gotta give it about an hour and a half to dry, then I'll put on the second coat. So with that, I'll show you guys the finished product once I'm all done, okay? Okay, second coat on. Looking lots better. Barely see the line where the joint is at, and I don't know that another coat is gonna cover that or not. I'm gonna call an expert on this stuff and find out. But the spot that was right there on the wall is gone. The only thing that we really see is the 
where the two pieces come together and you don't see the dark spots you just see the line so that's good now down on the floor there's a a piece or a chip I guess I missed it but it felt smooth so I know I touched it so but it looks really good looks real well so anyways that's what it looks like pretty much done I'm gonna put the uh, give it a couple of days actually two days to uh, let it completely cure dry so that I can work on it I have to put some uh, metal trims back in place and put the uh, curtain holder in back in place up here and then I actually got a new curtain for it take this paper down I'm gonna take the paper down right now so it doesn't get stuck 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 completely stuck so with that I'll show you guys what it looks like after I take the paper down all right bye okay there it is all the tape has been removed Well, like I said, I still have a piece of metal that goes up there to the trim piece, goes all the way around, and then I have the curtain rod that holds and goes around here. And I got the new curtain, and that's done. And I'll put that piece right there, back here, covering up the hose. I'll put the uh, Oh, the faucet back in place. I polished that out. I don't know if I showed it to you guys. This is the piece that goes down on the floor. Polished that up. And then this is the actual piece that controls the shower. Shower head's in good shape. I'm just going to clean it up. But I polished this out, chrome got it all. Chrome's in good shape, it's just dented for some reason, I don't know why. It's not peeling or anything, so it's ready to go. Goes right in that spot, and then these pieces right there hook up to those pipes. And we're good. We're good, we're good. And then I can put the stove back in, because that's the only reason why it's out so that I can get to that water pipes back there. All right. Hey, thanks for uh, watching. I hope you guys got some ideas from what I did and what I didn't do or like what I did. Maybe it's too much work, who knows. I like it, I like the way it came out. I just like the fact that that line is pretty much gone it's not uh, you know easily seen and it's covered up with this paint epoxy paint and hopefully it will hold I mean there everything's there it's not I stepped in it did nothing broke nothing you know happened to it so I'm hoping that um, this will work out and with that thanks for watching guys talk to you guys later have a good one bye